Hey everyone, my name is James Cummings from durhamevents.co.uk and jamescummingsphotography.com. I'm here to you today to try and tell you in about a minute or thereabouts whether you should buy one of two subwoofers that I've got set up behind me right now. One is the DV Technologies DVAS09 and the other is the RCF Art905 AS Sub. Tech specs of these two things, they're both one kilowatt, 15 inch subwoofers, both capable of producing over 130 decibels maximum SPL. Which one's the best? I don't really know. They sound pretty similar to be honest with you, but let's take you for a quick tour around the back of them. And I'll keep this H4N zoom thing next, next to my mouth so you can hear what I'm actually saying and you can decide for yourself. Okay, let's go. Only difference between the DB unit just here and a lot of other units is, it's a little bit deeper than some of the designs are at about the 70 centimeter mark, but on the back they're exactly what you'd expect to find. Two XLR inputs and two XLR outputs with a high pass filter and a volume control. Aside from that, we've got different connectors for the power here with a speak on cable than you might usually expect with a normal kettle ease, but aside from that, the box is precisely what you'd expect of a suburb of its kind. Moving over to the RCF unit, it's the same story, except for this is a little bit more of a conventional shape for these kinds of boxes. If I move into the back here, you can see the back of the box is two XLRs in, two XLRs out, and you've got basically high pass filters and a normal kettle lead style connection. Now the only difference here is, with that kettle lead, you've got a kettle lead out as well, so you can link power cables with this particular unit. The box itself is very similar to a whole bunch of other subs in its, in its class, like the Mackie SWA 1501, a whole bunch of HK Audio stuff, all very similar designed and they're quite square, a boxy design. So, in conclusion, what's the point of this video? Well, the DB sub is £1,300, the RCF sub is £1,049. Which one's best? Six and two threes, really. Realistically, the DB sub is very slightly louder. The main difference that it offers is it's got slightly better bass reproduction in the very low end. So around about the kind of 50 hertz mark, you're gonna feel a little bit more from the DB sub. And the other difference that it offers is it throws that sound slightly further out onto the dance floor, probably due to the extra depth that the box has got in it. But if you're stuck for the 300 quid, the RCF box is absolutely astounding and totally a capable one kilowatt subwoofer as well. So it's not really much of a decision to make, to be honest with you. They're both excellent. That's about it. Later.